There's this clip from the KMTV archives, so I'll play it and uh, you can take a look at it. Too. Great. President's action on steel uh, probably has something to do with the timing of the decline, but I don't think it was the, uh, the, the, uh, the factor which uh, determined the, uh, the amount of the decline. Uh, for some time, stocks have been rising at uh, uh, rather rapid rates. Uh, corporate earnings have not been rising. Uh, dividends have not been increasing. And uh, uh, it's not to be unexpected that perhaps a correction of some of those uh, um, unusual factors on the upside might occur on the downside. Well, some observers from time to time say that the stock market is a forecaster of events to come. Can you predict or would you care to take a look at what you think this might be forecasting, the decline? Uh, the stock market has been a good forecaster uh, from time to time in the uh, past. It also has been a rather poor forecaster occasionally. Uh, for example, the last four or five years, the stock market has been booming along and uh, presumably forecasting better business, which has really not materialized. Corporate profits are, are not any better than they were five years ago, but stock prices are 50% uh, higher thereabouts. Uh, so maybe the stock market is really uh, correcting a previous incorrect forecast this time rather than making a new correct one. Well, in a nutshell, Mr. Buffett, can you give us uh, your opinion of just exactly what happened? What caused it? Well, there was uh, undoubtedly some force selling the, uh, the week uh, when the stock market hit the news. The previous week, uh, prices had declined about 6% for the week on average. And uh, there was some stock that... Uh, was forced upon the market both by margin calls from brokers and uh, uh, some that was uh, forced out by in, in improperly uh, secured bank loans. And this in turn set up a self-generating mechanism on the downside for a while, uh, which we may have seen the last of and which we may not have seen the last of. Hmm. That's it. Did you recognize the voice? It I might think have been Paul Beavers. It could have been. I'm thinking it, it could have been. been. It's 62. 62. That, 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 I thought Paul was younger than that. Uh, he wouldn't have been a, a KM at 62. At 62. Oh, yeah. He was yeah, he would. Was yeah. He yeah, he would. Yeah, okay. yeah, he would. Yeah, he okay. was there at 62. I really think it was Paul Beavers, but I'm not sure. Okay. The interesting thing about this, that's a pretty long piece of film. Yes, it is. But it's not edited. It's not cut. Yeah. I'm wondering if it was ever broadcast. It may not have. Well, it was not unusual to go that way in those days. But that's true. That's, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But but it's it also run. likely that I mean, it's not likely, but uh, unless you had the copy of the newscast, there were things that were shot and edited and put in on a on the show reel, and, and then, made then the they out everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a good question. Yeah. For which we have no answer for you, Or, or it may have been a part great. of a uh, half-hour show or something. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time. All the stations were doing a lot of local live talk shows on Sunday morning, whatever. This may have been shot for something like that, where they would have run the whole piece. And that would have been far too long for a, t for a newscast. And I was watching for splices, and there weren't any. <laughs> so it was not edited. It, it ran as No marks either. Back in the, uh, actually, KMTV had the best archiving system. Yes, sir. At KM, every day, the film editor, whoever was the uh, editing the news film, had to, had to put them together and log it. And we knew what was on well, You know, before I left in 64, the, one of the last things I did is I cored everything, you know, mm -hmm. and made a list. So you go back and you, you look at the original date, and it would say, and this was maybe two years out, and it would say, out to, it was from 67, it would say, out to January 1968. Then you go to January 68. And you'd notice that it was then out to, because there was no, it, it wasn't videotape, it was film. You pulled it. Uh, now when you, you take a, a piece of uh, a video, no matter how many times you pull it from that original date, it's still there because you're copying it. Then we would pull the, video, pull the actual film out to use it again, and eventually the clips got shorter and shorter as you spliced them. And they would, you might have to go four or five to four or five dates to find the clip you were looking for. And that was interesting. But at least with the KM system, you could eventually find it.